How's it going? Hi, Tushy. Look, it's kitchen Kate. You're still at home. Nice, Titan. Hi, Chief. Thank you for the host, man. Hey, welcome back, Jen. I hope your trip was good. Scooter Beads, what's up? Cookie, I saw your Discord message. That's crazy that you and Elrad are both ordered to stay home from work. That's crazy. I think it is low. We were fooling around with the mics the other day because we were trying to get sounds to work. Let me see how to fix that because I don't know how to. Just a sec. It is all the way up. Go back to zero. Hello, that's better. That's where it was. Yay. Success. Oh my gosh. It was so good and now you're home with bronchitis. Get better and be careful, stay healthy. Sounds good, Chief. That's all good if you can't stay. Thank you so much for the love. Just found out today, Cookie, that you might be working from home for the next 90 days? What? For three months? Yeah, thanks for sharing it, Titan. Oh, that's so generous of you. <laughs> that is kind of insane, right? But it's kind of nice to work from home, right? You can't really complain about that. Okay, so obviously first, first cooking stream of the week. I don't know if any of you caught some of our day job stream. Cookie, I, I know you were in there. White Dove, you were there in the morning too. So yeah, I'm a little bit tired, but I have showered and cleaned up and well, we have to eat dinner tonight. So we're gonna do some cooking. Yeah, we are pooped. We are pooped. Like we came home after lunch today because we were just like, we're done. Hi, Paul. Good to see you, dude. The only thing you saw was Sammy sitting down. Yeah, so good. Okay, so one exciting thing today is you guys crushed a bit goal 
last month, or actually no, sorry, this month for our carbon steel walk. So we stopped by the store and picked that up. Sweet, who's ready to do some walk cooking? This thing's huge, hey? Sam requested that the first thing we make in the walk is pad thai. And I said, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that. I'm gonna turn that just a touch. Yeah, it is so nice. So thank you guys so, so much. It comes with like a beautiful wooden spoon and everything. And it is like good quality. Just wanna show you guys that your money is going to good places. Yeah, the spoon is huge. It's gonna be like so fun to just like cook in the walk. We're gonna be doing some stuff in there for sure. I think that's it. Okay, so tonight we are doing some grilling. We're gonna be doing some scallops on the grill. We're gonna marinate them in ginger and lemongrass, maybe a little bit of citrus juice. And then those are gonna go with some coconut rice. So we're gonna make that today. And then we're just gonna steam up some kabocha squash and green beans and We'll see, we should be able to have time to make a little peanut sauce of sorts, a little spicy peanut sauce to go with this. I think it's gonna be delicious. Oh my gosh, yes, that is the spoon drop. Just let's hope one day it never shatters. <laughs> I don't know though, Polish, cause this one's still pretty sweet. This spoon will never drop though, that's the issue. Okay, so let's make up our little prep list here. I don't think anything's gonna take too long. Uh, scallops are like one of the quickest cooking proteins out there, I would say. Like most seafood is though. So on the grill, those scallops will maybe be two minutes. So we know that we're gonna need a really, really hot grill. So we're gonna do it right over the coals. You'll get a big ass plastic spork. Yeah, best of both worlds. <laughs> We should, we should. Okay, so first step, marinate the scallops. They were on sale this week, so we get them fresh from the East Coast. It was $6.99 per 100 grams. So it was like $30 for a pound for Sam and I, which is a lot. That's a lot of scallops for a good price. Considering, I mean, if you were to buy or order a scallop dish at a restaurant, you'd be probably paying close to $30 for one dish, not two. So marinate scallops and then grill them, our coconut rice, squash, beans. So we'll have two pots going on the stove top, one for our rice, one for our bamboo steamer for our vegetables and then obviously cooking the protein outside. So not a ton of dishes today either, which is awesome. I love doing that for Friday. And let me also tell you guys that the stream is starting super early again tomorrow morning because Sam is putting a brisket on. So we are, you heard gunshots, what? Oh, no problem, Cookie. I mean, it's good to compare it that way. That's the one thing that I think people don't do enough is realize how much like food costs in restaurants. It's not that hard to cook. Okay, what was I saying? I don't know, distracted. Oh yes, we're starting the stream super early tomorrow because we are making an epic barbecue feast platter for my birthday. Sam really wanted to do that. I have my grandma and my step grandpa coming over as well for a nice little family visit for my birthday. And then I'll be making the barbecue sides tomorrow on stream. And I think we might do a little bit of gardening, do some seed starts. I think it's time friends, it's time. So not super long stream tonight, obviously because we're gonna go to bed really nice and early. So that's it friends. All in all, I hope everyone has had a great week so far and it's just good to see you all.
Oh, and we're making sausages tomorrow on stream. We got the casings from the butcher shop. gonna be awesome. Okay. There's our little breakdown here as well. So 32 bucks. I don't know how many scallops we got in here, so we'll see once we open it up. You wanted to mention Jamaican food takeaways, fish soup and scotch bonnet peppers. Those were your favorite things, Jen. I guess you wouldn't have had any jerk chicken, but did you have like any kind of jerk sauces to try? Put those on a plate with a little bit of paper towel. And then we have to clean the scallops as well before we marinate them. That's really, really important. Oh, what? Yeah. Jerk scallops. These bad boys jerked up. We froze the jerk marinade, so you can't do it today, but that would be amazing. Okay, so make sure we have clean hands here. And we are going to start by cleaning off the abductor muscle. So that's the muscle that holds this beautiful little piece of meat in the scallop shell with other inside parts. <laughs> and because this muscle is what the scallop uses to open and close its shell, it's really tough. So we don't want to eat that or leave it on our scallop because it's really rubbery. Yeah, the butts, exactly. So we are just gonna take that off and it's really easy to see. Should be able to find this little like kind of clear looking piece of meat on the side of the scallop. And then it just easily peels off. And hey, it's a bonus if you don't have the muscle on because well, you pay for it when you buy the scallop and then you take it off right away. So it's kind of a waste. And I will also give you info that yesterday when we picked these up, I called the store beforehand to see when they got their scallops in. So whenever I'm getting like really more expensive kind of seafood is I'll call around to a couple of the local stores and see who has the freshest of what I want. And these are like two days old. That's it. So that's pretty fresh to me is when I called yesterday, he's like, we just got them yesterday, which, so then he got them on Wednesday. That's really fresh. I'm like, these are not, they're not even wet. They're that fresh still. Smells so fresh too. Just a couple things to know. If you guys want to go and buy some scallops and cook them for yourself. You're just going fresh, you should do this one or do that little piece if you want. That one looks like perfection. Sam's going raw. Yeah, it feels so fresh. You got your, your TMY cam and green screen stuff in. Scallop yeah, sashimi. Really? Yeah. Okay, 
Sammy said so. What's this? Just a bit of soy sauce? It's really sweet compared to the soy sauce. Wow. Wish I had some rice right now for that. Don't even need to cook it. Like how crazy is that? Okay, let's get a little bowl to mix up our marinade in. Picked up some really nice fresh lemongrass from the store. We we're having a bit of an issue finding this, but found this one today. Super, super nice. So lemongrass fresh, we got some ginger. What about garlic on here, Sammy? This is a recipe that Sam has cooked many times and he told me about it. So I guess I'm recreating a recipe from one of his past restaurants that he's worked at. Let's see how I do. Anyone else cooking something delicious tonight? Some garlicky oil. Not gonna go crazy on the garlic because scallops are so delicate. So I'm really just gonna do this one clove here. And then our ginger, trim this up and then just peel the skin off. And then we're gonna use the microplane or a grater to grate this really, really fine. Oh, Sammy. Do you wanna show them croissant? It's croissant day today, guys. It worked, by the way. So here's what happened. <laughs> so last time we got almond croissants from Bradley, he said to us that he put a cap on the ordering for them because they, well, they take like four days to make double baked almond croissants. And Sam's like, don't you ever tell me that they're sold out when I go to order. And he's like, don't worry, Sam, I'll always make an extra pan for you. <laughs> Sam's like, perfect. What does Sammy do this week? Sees that almond croissants are on the menu, doesn't order them right away, forgets. So it comes to the point where almond croissants are now sold out. He's telling me this, what, yesterday? Sammy says, I messed up. Almond croissants are sold out. So we bribed Bradley with one cold smoked bacon, two brisket and bacon baked beans. Needless to say, it worked. <laughs> Still got the croissants. That's when you know you're loved. Okay, so grating up some ginger. Really juicy. Mm. Nice ginger. Yeah. How's it going, Twitch Stewie? Ouch. Watch it, Kate. Was this like a Thai kind of style dish, Sam? Mm -hmm. It was like a scallop saute, kind of. Should I put more ginger than that? You can do more, yeah. You steamed the bananas. You steamed the scallops? Yeah. 
in banana leaf. That sounds amazing. I don't have never had steamed scallops. But it's pretty unctuous. Guys, it takes a minute and a half to steam scallops. Quick, quick. Okay, we're gonna reserve our microplane for our garlic next. Friends currently in Thailand for the rest of the weekend. Oh, seriously, one of the most amazing places on earth if you love food. I will say that and really, really wanna go back one day with my Sammy. Yeah. So great our garlic. Okay, I was like, I don't hear gunshots here, Titan. The neighbor was shooting at coyotes. <laughs> Get him gone. Okay, we got ginger, we got garlic. Next up, lemongrass. And because seafood and shellfish is so delicate, you don't need a really long marination time on it, which is nice as well, right? So cut through bottom part of our lemongrass here. This is where the most flavor is. A little bit more, there we go. And then, That. And then in half, and then I'm gonna go in quarter. And then I'm gonna try and slice it as thin as possible so we get the most surface area. You have some red onion pickled in the fridge. Oh man, me too, Polish. Booty boo boo. I don't know what disconnected, guys. Let's see. Just a sec, I just need to check outside. Put your hand in front. Yep, we're good. Booty boo boo. Terrifying sound. Uh, I found this just at one of the grocery stores here, Lemongrass. But I mean, the first store we ordered it from, our typical grocery store, they were out of it. So I had to do a little bit of phoning around it today to find it. But I would say for the most part, grocery stores always have lemongrass here. Yeah, we have a pretty big Asian influence here in West, Western Canada, especially on the island. Now I want to make like some lemongrass chicken. What'd you do? Nothing. It's not on there, so we didn't see whatever you did. Okay. Like just a typical grocery store. Yeah, I would say though, so Asian ingredients here in Canada are like Mexican ingredients in the States. Other than yeah, but it's like, other than like North American stuff, you can mostly find Mexican items in the US. Whereas here, Mexican food, a little bit harder to source compared to Asian foods. Everywhere has like an Asian aisle, pretty much. Okay, next up. So we have our ginger, lemongrass, garlic. I'm gonna do a little bit of garlic oil to help the marinade adhere to the scallop. And 
I'm just gonna do a touch of this like sushi seasoning. So it's like a sweet and sour kind of thing. And then we'll mix that up, put it on the scallops, and then we're not going to salt and pepper them until right before we cook them, right, Sam? Do you usually put anything else in here? You put coconut milk in it. I didn't know. Okay, coconut milk marinated scallops. This is so cool. Learning Sammy's tricks. Yep. Hi, Annie. How are you? You and Cookie are my conductors. It's already spring break. Oh goodness. Okay, let's actually get some coconut milk. thickest is this just coconut cream there's not even oh, that's good currently making pizza dough yeah you do Annie look at these beauties they're like only two days old so Sam and I tried them fresh oh my gosh unreal hey look at this mixture Annie, do you have any fun plans for spring break? Smells amazing, guys. <laughs> yeah, lots and lots of piano practicing time. Love it, Cookie. Okay, next up, we're gonna get the coconut rice going and the steamer pot going while Sam sets up the grill outside. Just gonna throw all these little guys in there. You're traveling to State College, Pennsylvania to visit a high school friend on Sunday. Oh, amazing. That's nice that you have something planned just for a day. Yeah, lots of time for cooking, cookie. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna gently mix our scallops with the marinade in here, and then we'll put that back into the fridge. Holy smokes. Titan, you're traveling to Canada one day and you're never coming back. Oh no, what have I done here? Making a mess. Canada will do that to you. Been watching the Tim Hortons Briar. Oh, is it the Briar Cup this weekend? Alberta's playing well. I think they typically were like quite strong in curling, if I can remember from my youth. All right, guys. Into the fridge. We can take out 
our squash. And I think I have to go grab the beans. Beans. <laughs> Tighten for a sec. You thought the oh no was for you? No. Don't be silly. Rice. So we're still gonna toast up our rice before we add our liquids to it. See how much liquid we have, and then we'll go from there. But I think I'm only gonna make like a cup up. So I'll need two cups worth of liquid. Thank you, Sammy. It's gonna take like 15 ish to heat up or. I think you're good to go there. Okay. I'm just getting the rice on and then just have to prep the veggies for the steamer. Uh, how long is the squash take to heat? Ah, uh, I guess, yeah. The squash last time it took seven minutes. Okay, so I'm gonna do a cup or so of this coconut milk, guys. Perfect. Looks so good. You're supposed to get an inch of snow tonight. Oh, you have the conveyor belt working now on the robot. Amazing. And the climb mechanism is half built, but there's still so much to do, I'm sure. Okay, one cup of rice. Start toasting that up. So we're gonna go over to the stove top. This is gonna be our rice pot today. So medium heat for that. Put our rice kernels in. We're gonna toast it dry. So while that is coming up, I am going to bring this liquid up to two cups. So top it up with the water. And then I always find that coconut rice is better with just a pinch of salt in it as well. Spread that out a bit. And then we're gonna add our water to our frying pan for our steamer. Just going a nice and shallow pan here. So it's not gonna be steaming for too long. Get that coming up. Oh, I don't know how I feel about the spouts on the side of this pan. I guess we'll see. We will see. Hope it's it's not canceled due to the coronavirus. I was wondering, like, what's gonna happen? You had three cases there found today. Crazy stuff. All I'm gonna say is wash your hands. And that's it. All right, we got our bamboo steamer. Set that baby up. I'm a little bit obsessed with steamed vegetables right now. 
just works so well. Oh, it doesn't fit on that pan very good. I'm gonna switch it up. I think this is the one. Nope, that's not the one either. Well, needless to say, friends, that I think I need a pot just for my little steamer. Right? Welcome in, Dust. How are you? You're so welcome. I'm glad you enjoyed the handyman and woman streams. Toss our rice up. Switching pots. Tossy, toss, toss. Sammy and I, we love working hard. You're good now? Okay, Sammy's outside. Give you guys a different view. Sam, you just have to center the view more, remember, because you're cut off on the one side. FRC Robotics already issued new guidelines. No high fives or shaking hands during the competitions and they're planning to wipe down the drive station with disinfectant between matches. What? Yeah, density, it's gonna be good. Okay, almost ready here for our liquid and then this should take about 15 minutes to cook. I don't cook coconut rice on as high of a heat as just regular plain old rice by itself because I find that the coconut milk has a tendency to burn. So I go a little bit lower heat. Holy us. Yeah, that's a little crazy. And then once we get our rice into the pot and on a simmer, then we're going to prep up our vegetables for the steamer. Interesting about the coconut milk, yes. Yeah, every time that I have made coconut rice at home, it like almost burns. And it's been upsetting me. So uh, I'm thinking that to not have that happen, we'll just cook it a little bit lower and slower. Okay, I'm going in. Going for the pour. Oops. So there we go. That's gonna come up to a simmer. Go Sammy, go Sammy, go. Yes, oh, the close up. Well, guys, I've never grilled scallops before, so this is new for me. Thank you very much, Dendini. You love the video switching capabilities. That makes me so happy, Annie. Okay, this is like a mass amount of beans. We 
don't think we're gonna eat all of them. That is honestly one of my favorite parts about the stream, Annie, is like making all the different scenes and stuff. And I just wanna keep adding more and more as well. Is I eventually, I think I want like the Go XLR mixer to just make it even better. Okay, we gotta scoop out the seeds from our squash. Eyes on the, on the egg. <gasps> oh, oh yes! My God. That's funny because I saw googly eyes at the dollar store today and I had to refrain from buying them just because. It's never a bad thing to have googly eyes around the house. Excuse me, bean stealer. Yeah, whoever invented googly eyes, genius. Cut off the tip and the top. Mm, Matt came in this morning <laughs> while he was getting ready for work. Uh, we started our stream up at like 6.30 in the morning at our handyman job today with everyone. Yeah, 21 months, crazy. Okay, so now for the squash, I'm gonna go in half first. And then, I think I'm gonna go in half again. Yeah, little bite-sized pieces. That worked really well last time. You're up at 8.30 this morning, Dust, checking emails, and they're already working. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Aw, Annie, you got up early. You couldn't sleep, you were thinking about robot designs. Okay, next up. So our rice is just coming up to a simmer here. Let me give it a stir. Cut our squash into little bite-sized pieces, so like half inch thickness. And then last time we steamed it like this, it took around six or seven minutes for these to steam perfectly. And obviously the smaller you cut it, the quicker it'll cook as well. So if you want less steam time, then cut it even smaller. Sammy's getting his grill ready for tomorrow as well. Might as well, hey? So many barbecues. Tomorrow, on the menu, we got smoked brisket, pork ribs, pork collar, bacon cheeseburger sausage, one whole chicken, cornbread muffins, coleslaw, potato salad. It sounds like a good idea, Polish, but I'm scared that maybe it'll stick to the Ziploc bag. Dust. We're making the sausages tomorrow. 
We got the casings and everything. I pulled out the ground brisket. I pulled out one bacon or a piece of bacon that we made last week. We're making the sausage. That's it. <laughs> okay, our steamer is going. I'm gonna just keep those there for a sec. Turn down the steamer a bit. And then we'll prep up our beans. You'll use one bag to try to try on your tubs for the rest. Honestly, I've never had it come out better than in the one liter cups. Other than obviously like a dough box. You'll see how the sausage is made. My first time making sausage at home. So I'm a little bit nervous if I'm gonna be honest here, but I am also excited to try something new for you, for you guys and with you guys. Are we casing the joint? <laughs> yeah, let me see here. Is it spring where we are? Pretty much, I would say, Suzanne likes cake. We got cherry blossoms already blooming. And all the daffodils are up as well. So I would say it's pretty much springtime here. We will not see another snow. Yeah, we can't resist the puns, Annie. Puns and dad jokes are welcome here. Oh, that's a ugly bean. Yeah, the last two days have been really nice weather where we're at. Sun's been shining. It really does feel like spring. Okay, beans are all cleaned as well. So now we just have to steam our vegetables. And then, like I said, I wanted to make some kind of like a spicy peanut saute sauce. Give you a little stove view. I know, I might have jinxed myself. Knock on wood, cookie. We will not see another snow. <laughs> okay, so rice is going here. It's looking really good. I'm gonna turn it up just a touch. It seems like it's not sticking at all. And if I try a kernel, It's like halfway cooked. But I don't like really like soggy, mushy rice. So I'm gonna try and keep those kernels really nice. Titan, no! No! All right, spicy. Peanut sauce, let's make something. We need peanut butter. This is always better if it's like crunchy as well. Aw, oh, thanks Titan. And then we need to loosen this up with a little bit of rice vinegar. So we got our nuttiness, we got our little bit of acidity. We might need some of this sushi seasoning. And then for hot sauce. Ooh, actually I know what I'm gonna do. So we have some sweet chili, but I do wanna make it a little bit spicier. So I'm gonna go with some gochujang is like a Korean 
chili paste. Merry Birthmas. Oh, thanks guys. It's not till Sunday. Sunday's the official day. And we are streaming on that day still. Okay, I'm gonna get these squash into the steamer. Put them on the top tray. And then switch it. So the squash will take about seven minutes. And then our beans are gonna take like two minutes, seriously. Two minutes, guys, that's it. I want them really nice and crunchy still. Yeah, pulse, 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 pulse. <laughs> Pulse, don't look behind you. It's on the 8th, and we also share a birthday with Hojerific and Sam's mom and Titan's brother. Is Sammy just lighting all the eggs right now? What are you doing? Dust. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I wanna show you guys the rice. Let's do small, cutting board, large. So this is how it looked. Just kinda of dug my spoon in the center there. All of the liquid is cooked out. Make sure your rice kernels are cooked, which they are. So I'm gonna take that off of the stove top now, or at least off of the hot burner, and we're just gonna cover it. And then we have our little steam hole there so it doesn't keep cooking, and it's gonna get fluffy. We're gonna fluff it up. I'm burning off the extra large and cooking the scallops in the large indirect instead of direct. Oh, okay. Indirect cooking on the scallops. Hey Siri, five minute timer. How come you're doing indirect on the scallops? How come you want to direct on I don't know. I've never cooked them this way, so I'm just asking. Yeah, okay. I steam them. Oh, yeah. right. Peas egg tastic. Thank you so much, Des, for those biddies. Yeah, also fluffy. Okay, so let's start by making our base for the peanut saute sauce. So we're gonna start with the peanut butter. I like the crunchy peanut butter because I think it adds good texture to the dish. But if you only like smooth, then well, fine. You are lost, I guess. Also fluffy. Fluffy? Yeah, he's fluffy. Only gonna make enough sauce for this one meal, guys. So that is enough. About what? Two tablespoons worth of peanut butter? Next up, I'll start with the sweet chili. Yeah, I'm I'm just fat. You're not fat. You have fat. You are not fat though. You have it. Okay, a little bit of rice vinegar, a little sploosh. It smells like it, Sammy? A little bit of this, sushi seasoning, and then some spice. <laughs> Muffin top. 
Yeah, does that make the snow dances better? <laughs> I'm not fat, I just have handles. Oh, this gochujang is preserved. I've never seen it so tough. There we go. Should mix in. That's some stuff. Good for warmth in the winter and shade in the summer. And a wind blocker as well. Yeah, and a wind blocker. Sam's for sure my furnace. Ain't gotta tell no lie. And then typically just to loosen this up so it is sauce consistency, seriously just add a little bit of warm water. I like the color that that went. And then we'll give it a try. Once we're happy with the consistency, then we can taste it. So how long is the large going to take to heat up? Uh, it would be hard to get it go, but uh, So we changed the timing and didn't tell the chef, I guess. Good thing the squash is cooking already. Okay, squash. It's okay. Okay, carrying right along. What simmer do you type? Sous chef problems. What? <laughs> I'm shocked right now. I'm literally in shock. I'm speechless. <laughs> I thought we had this like good open communication here. It was good. And then I don't know what happened, why it didn't start. <laughs> you started the squash already, I was still in 15 minutes. I looked over and it was cold. Ah! <laughs> what is going on today, friends? It's been a week. Fruit stylers. Thank you for the follow. Is that two more? Oh, are we almost there? Oh, guys, two follows. Where are our trolls when we need them? Loosen it up, guys. There we go. We want it spreadable still and dippable. It's crazy how it just re-thickens up. Yeah, welcome in trolls. Yeah, we need them cookie. We need the two follows. Come on in. <laughs> we have scallops. There we go. We're cooking with wood? Yeah. Well, at least we'll have our full focus on the grill when the time comes. Oh, I love that consistency now. It's almost like whipped peanut butter. So nice and light. Yeah, it's thick posh. He's giving you hex? 
We need more chili sauce now. We can do chili chicken with the wok. Yes, sweet chili chicken. What is that, Earl's? Earl's. Now it looks like baby poop. Thank you, Annie. Doesn't taste like it safely. Or Maggie. Sam's orders. If it needs salt, add soy sauce or Maggi. It was a good catch. What would Sam do? Yeah. We need bracelets. Oh, that's perfect. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. I'm into it, friends. Okay, gonna put a couple of things away. So our coconut rice is done. Our squash is about halfway cooked. We still have to steam our beans and cook our scallops. Maybe plate up in 10-ish minutes. I really do enjoy cooking seafood on Fridays because it does just cook so quickly. It's been my go-to lately. And then for the vegetables, it is really easy dust to cook scallops. Uh, I like to do them, if you're gonna do them like in a pan, do them Gordon Ramsay method. You gotta look that one up though. But yeah, Gordon Ramsay seared scallops, best way to do them, for sure. Yeah, yeah, it won't mess up. Okay, and then to toss our vegetables once they're steamed, I had this leftover honey lime vinaigrette that I thought would go really good with this. And then maybe just a little bit of chopped cilantro, Sam, and we're good, or the scallion. You want your phone? So now we get to work on garnishes while we wait. Cilantro. So scallop saute. A sort of scallop saute today.
do, 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 do. Do this one. Look at our lineup. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cilantro, we'll just pick it off the stem. And so if you're looking for price in the store, I paid $6.99 per 100 grams for the ones today. And that was our on sale price. Fresh East Coast scallops. There you go. <laughs> Sammy says this one. It's not that one? Oh. He lied. Nice finely chopped cilantro. And we'll do some scallion as well. Finely slice this. And then I think we should be okay to put the squash back into the steamer. If Sammy gives us the go ahead. We're there, friends. We're there. You made pizza dough while making a couple beef and barley burgers. Got way too hungry. Had four tortillas with cheese, cause spinach, and pounded them back. <laughs> That's the thing. When you're cooking, you get hungry. Yeah, just sampling. There's literally no issues here, Polish. Just doing some sampling. Okay, squash is going back on. beaners. Okay. Five minutes and then we're cooking them. Do you want me to dry them off or anything like that? Yeah. Okay. 
All right, so got our scallops here that we marinated first thing on stream today. So we're just gonna try and rub off a little bit of the coconut milk because it might flare up and try and burn. So just use a paper towel to kind of blot that off if you can. And then we still have to season them as well. It is false polish. False. It is false polish. Vune. This smells amazing. I think it's going to turn out really great. How did I marinate mine? You just assumed all you need is salt and pepper. Yes. So if you're starting out by cooking scallops, literally all you need, salt and pepper. That way you get the most like natural flavor off of the meat. And then once you get better at cooking said scallops, then you can go a little bit more crazy with it. But I would always start with salt and pepper first. This is okay? Okay, I'm just trying to get some of the lemongrass pieces because it's hard. Beautiful. Wash, wash the hands. Scallops with risotto is such a good dish. Or like scallops with pasta, also very nice. And then obviously they're always really good with, with rice. All you need is love. Love is all you need. A little bit of salt. Yeah, pasta with scallops. When the beans are done, okay, perfect. Annie, you remember cooking chicken and asparagus with risotto and it was amazing. Yes, that sounds really good as well. All right, beaners going on to the steamer, so two minutes. And then we just need our plate. We are not steaming the scallops, we are grilling them. <laughs> yeah, Paul, just pretend it's a refeed day. You're good you, to go. If you want, you can steam half the scallops and do half and half. I would like mine grilled, so I'm good with that. Okay. Yep. 
Fridays are men for indulging. Hell yes. Except I got, I don't know, you tricked at lunchtime. Oh yeah, she totally did. Guys, I got tricked. So I shared half my burger with Caitlin. So we go to Big Wheel Burger, our typical lunch spot for Fridays. And on their little special board at the front of the store, it says a, a Nashville hot chicken burger. And I was like, that sounds amazing. That's perfect. I'm down for some fried chicken that's spicy in sandwich form. I was like, I'm done. I'm sold. So I went and grabbed our table. Burger comes to us. Sam looks at it. He's like, that's not chicken. I was like, this is not chicken. It was a veggie burger patty. So Nashville hot chicken burger. I was like, no. <laughs> I was like, this is not the same. It was basically just like fried chickpeas and rice and stuff. But Sammy shared half of his burger with me because he's a great fiance. But like, what a letdown. Should have should have read like the other board that had the description on it. But like, I was sold on that. I was like, yes, Nashville hot chicken sandwich. Hell yes. Yeah, this isn't chicken, surprise. And so I went up and actually asked. I was like, is this supposed to be chicken or is it a sneaky veggie burger? They're like, no, it's a veggie burger. I was like, okay, then I definitely ordered the wrong thing. <laughs> Cheers. It was fantastic. It was not fantastic. Hi, Wilson stepbrother, how are you? Yeah, misleading advertising. I was just really let down. One more minute on the bean. Okay, Sam, let's go do the scallops. The steamer's nice and low, so it'll take this whole time. Yeah, time for a Yelp review. No, that's like our favorite burger spot, so I'm not even upset. It was still delicious. It was tasty. It just wasn't what I wanted. Yeah, Nashville hot chicken with actual chicken. That sounds good though, right? I still got some yeah, I still got some beef in my life. Okay, just gonna sneak in here. I'm gonna read chat off of my phone, guys. And then we need a clean plate. That's precision. Oh. Yum. I don't believe I've ever eaten grilled scallops before. So this is new for us as well, guys. Trout and scallops, that'd be tasty. You did dust, that's right. You had hot Nashville hot chicken for the first time. You crave it now. That's what made me crave it, was you talking about it. And I was just like, yes. I totally wanted one too, but I was like, nah. I like my double cheeseburger. And then I was like, like no. With Cajun tots and ranch on the side. Yeah, yeah.
Jabated, indeed. Yeah. What would you like? Okay, take this. Just take this. Hot veggie burger does was not even close to it. It wasn't even like hot oil on it. It was like a sriracha mayo. I was like, this is not nearly as spicy as I was wanting right now. Okay. It wasn't spicy enough, guys. Not nearly. Oh, gotta ask for the ghost pepper sauce. Checking on our coconut rice. The scallops are going to be amazing. I was just trying to piece the squash. Not done yet. Scallops are probably gonna take like two minutes. What's the temp at on there, bro? It'll, it'll take a little longer, but... What's the temp? Uh, about 300. Oh, okay. Sorry, temp's a bit lower, so they're probably gonna take closer to like five, six. You know what, Annie? He popped in not too long ago. Tristan, he came into Discord and just let us know that he was doing great. And that was basically it. <laughs> so he's good. <laughs> he's still in Arizona. Yeah, it is great to hear, right? I love when people come back like that. It's like, glad to know you're still alive. I know that life gets busy. But never feel bad because you just disappear for a bit. Like, I'm not gonna be upset. If anything, I'm just worried about where you are. Okay, let's get full view of this. The smoke coming off of that right now. They have given 161 gift subs in the channel. Thank you, Cookie, for gifting the sub to Dust Pirate. Dust, eight months already. One more month. And you gotta pick a baby name out. Baby names. 161 gifted subs. Pineapple juice. <laughs> Cookie, just spoiling us, as always. Thank you so much, Cookie. No, we're not going tech nine with it. We won't. Here, our veggies are almost ready here. And then we'll give them a little toss with our honey lime dressing. 
and some salt and pepper and maybe some cilantro and scallions. And then probably by the time we're finishing plating up, the scallops will come off the grill. I'm gonna say so. We're getting near, near the time. Are we? Yep, I feel it. This is our veggie bowl. Squash incoming. Oh, don't break that. Oh, we got a flare up. Careful, Sammy. He's going for the flip. Yes. Quick, quick, quick. Brush them with butter now. <laughs> yes. Okay, squash is going into this bowl. Okay, perfect, Sam. And then let's bring our salt over here as well. Look at that smoke. Because we didn't season our veggies yet. A little bit of salt on there. Give them a toss with that. And then mix up our honey lime vinaigrette. Grilled squash is delicious, but this is not the right squash to do it with. Kabocha squash is really starchy, so I find that it needs like wet kind of cooking with it compared to roasting or grilling. Try a little piece, drop it in my apron. It's just a 10 inch band or a, yeah, 10 inch band in the steamer. Nothing fancy. You got three bucks. <laughs> Grosh, or not grocery store, garage sale fine. <laughs> Three dollars, regular ten dollars. It works so awesome though. Okay, next up are beaners. So salt on the beans. And then a little bit more of our dressing. Yeah, this squash, the way that it's cut, it'll just fall through the grill anyways. It's true, Annie. Good thinking. Beauty. Vegetables are ready to go. I'm going to come out to Sam just a sec. You want to fish, Sheila? Okay. Yep. He's good, guys. He's not scared. Light it up. Have we done anything at super high heat? Uh, yeah. So the first time that we tried making pizzas, we were still living in Vancouver at this point. We got the egg up to like 900 degrees and completely shattered the pizza stone that time. 
That's about the highest it got. Is there an easy way to tell if scallops are done? Mm. Well, they start off a little bit translucent and then they go opaque as they cook. Kind of the same as any other fish. And then you just have to go by feel. That looks amazing, Sam. The smell on this right now. Mm. We have our rice. It shouldn't be hot. So I'm gonna go rice and then some veggies around the plate. You can just start picking. I will take five. What? We only get three? That's it. Move it or lose it, squash. And one for trying. They were six ninety nine per hundred grams. Mm. What? Is it good? Mm hmm. It's cooked perfectly. Just the lemongrass is a little bit bitey, chewy. Okay, sauce. I always go and um, like saucing where my meat is. I'm gonna try and tuck that in a bit more. And then we'll just run this. Along the side. I went heavy with the sauce. And then our cilantro and scallion, basically just for the vegetables and the rice. Scallops are so good. Scallops are like butter. They just melt in your mouth. Okay, that's what I made, guys. I think that looks really nice. I'm gonna take a quick photo. Uh, my phone's outside. They have a lot of grill flavor, a lot. How do I want to do that? Probably like that is how it would serve it to the customer.
Let's eat. Okay. So first things first. Some rice. With the veggies. Mmm. Coconut rice with the kabocha squash. Super good. Bye, Annie. So happy you're able to pop in. Maybe we'll see you the rest of the weekend? It's not really smoky, but definitely charcoal-y. You can come here. I'm gonna try the scallop with the sauce. Mm. Yeah? Another level. The sauce we just did. Okay, so tomorrow, perfect. Oh, that's okay, Annie. We're celebrating tomorrow as well, so stop by the stream then. So sauce, we just did a spicy like peanut sauce with peanut butter and sweet chili and a little bit of rice vinegar. Like the nuttiness of the peanut butter with the charcoal flavor from the grill. Perfect. <laughs> yes, success. But they're mouth watering and they're full on Italian. Found the sand. Found it. Really nice combination of flavors and ingredients. I think everything balances really nicely. And it's not a heavy dish by any means. So once again, we're kind of working towards our lighter, kind of springtime meals. And I mean, kind of anytime you cook seafood, it's always gonna feel like a lighter dish. Okay guys, thank you for the awesome stream today and tonight. We had a pretty crazy work day that some of you actually were able to see earlier. Thank you for being here, Cookie. And we are gonna go relax now. Mm -hmm. mm. We are, we just started doing a new, there we go, remodel or like restoration on a house that had a water main break. So an entire basement suite, we just finished replacing two feet everywhere of drywall from the ground up. So they removed the bottom two feet where it got wet. We have to replace that. The walls are all textured, so we have to texture the wall and then we paint it and it's perfect again. We also have to remove all of the door frames and replace all the doors. And then come back and do baseboards. So basically everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> About 320 linear feet of drywall. Yeah, it's really fun. Hey, who are we gonna go raid? The last people took four months to fix it. We Linus? Who's Linus? Did anyone else watch Linus Tech Tips? I don't know if he will. It will work though. 
Is he on? Yeah. Oh, he's playing Apex. Okay, we'll do Harris. Guys, we're gonna go do Harris Heller. He's at 444 viewers, my lucky number. Actually, was able to meet him at TwitchCon last year. It was awesome. All right, y'all, we will see you tomorrow. So stream is starting at 2 a.m. Pacific time. So for all of our European viewers, see you soon. <laughs> I might be up. I might still be sleeping. We'll see where we end up. But okay. either way, you get the Sammy man first thing in the morning, and then you'll get me later on in the day. Birthday festivities are in order. Lots of meat and good things. Okay, have a wonderful night, friends. Thank you so much for everything. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.